You're watching RT broadcasting live from our brand new HD studios here in Moscow. I'm Yulia Shapovalo. Hello and a very warm welcome to the program. To Egypt first, where both the Muslim Brotherhood and its opponents are claiming that the country has narrowly voted to back the disputed draft constitution in round one of a referendum. So the claim is based on an official tallies. The official results will not be announced until after the next stage. So the draft was shaped by the Islamists but has been slammed by the opposition. So our correspondent Belchru is in Cairo for us with more. It has been a tense night here in the capital in Cairo as people have been waiting for these key results on uh, the referendum of the constitution. In the last few hours we've got preliminary results. Uh, of course the official ones will come out after the second round which indicate that it was a yes vote. The Muslim Brotherhood are together with immediate outlets. Uh, numbers are matching up. They're saying approximately 56.5% voted yes uh, with 43.5% uh, voting no. This will seem to be, of course, a major blow to the opposition forces, uh, particularly because in this round, um, only two of the governorates involved, two of the ten who voted, actually voted uh, as a no to the opposition, uh, with actually numbers as high as 70% in support of the constitution across the country. This particular stage of the referendum was largely seen to be the biggest chance for a no vote to the constitution, as the governorates involved actually voted against the president during the presidential elections. So really, right now, uh, the opposition forces are going to have to uh, either drum up support in the next six days before the second um, round, or find alternative tactic to, uh, to, to their campaign. I think there will be heightened tensions, of course. I mean, people have criticised the idea that the referendum was split into two days with a week in the middle with these results coming out because, of course, people are going to react to them. As we entered the uh, late stages of the voting process, which had been extended by several hours by the Electoral Commission because of high turnout, there were violent scenes on the streets of Cairo in an area of Dohi, uh, the Waft Party headquarters. The opposition, for, uh, opposition uh, group uh, were attacked by supposed supporters of Hezim Abu Ismail, who is an ultra-Orthodox uh, Salafist leader and one-time presidential candidate. The WAF party did uh, report that uh, ultra-conservative Islamists torched their headquarters, attacking it with firearms and tear gas. The security forces did report injuries. So really we'll have to see over the next week what happens uh, in the build-up to the second round, this crucial round, uh, as the, the, the 17 other governorates go to vote on this constitution.